What's going on everybody? My name is Kevin and I'm going to talk to you about being a traveling bartender. Now a lot of people are like, oh my god, what? you're a traveling bartender? It's the best job in the whole world? Well, it's not a lot of glamour. Um, you, meet, you do a lot of awesome things. You go to a lot of awesome events. Um, if anybody's wondering, this is an Insomniac shirt. Insomniac does a lot of great events. They do Electric Force. They do EDC, Okeechobee. Pretty much a lot of major events. In my opinion, they put on some of the best events. So depending on how this video is perceived by um, my other traveling bartender family um, and how much they make fun of me, it's going to depend if I make any more of these. <laughs> but pretty much in these videos, I want to go over money, I want to go over networking, staffing, travel expenses, my own personal and bad experiences, um, giving referrals, and the different types of uh, staffers. Um, I guess the most important thing everybody's really asking is, is it fun? Is it a great experience? Is it something that you would want to do on a normal day basis? Absolutely. This is probably the best job that I've ever had, the best job that I will ever have. It is the most fun that you'll ever have from meeting great people to going to new places you never thought you would go. It's pretty much like going on, it's pretty much like getting paid to go on vacation. So um, a lot of things are going on right now. This is the off season. So it's a really slow right now. Um, a lot of people aren't going to start working until February. That's when the Super Bowl is going to be. Um, so a lot of things been going on right now on our traveling bartending group about the staffers and staffers being blown up during the off season. So this video is mainly for newcomers, for all my traveling family that wants to give it to their friends that really just don't know about if they want to join, you know, the family or not. So, um, the first thing I want to go over is, as I said earlier, is going to be the staffers. Staffers are pretty much your lifeline. They're going to be the ones that refer you to other people if you're going to get hired or not. Um, they're going to be where you meet great people who are also going to refer you if you ever want to work again. So how do I want to start this? I think the main thing is blowing up staffers when the event is more than a month and a half out. We get it, we're excited, we see these new lineups that come out six months in advance. We're like, oh man, I wanna work that, who do I contact this, this, and this? Hey guys, look, everybody wants to work the events. The main thing that you wanna do is not bother the staffers. The staffers will post something whenever they're ready to hire. Your friends that are other traveling bartenders, they'll tell you when they're ready to hire. There's no reason to blow up any staffers. All it's gonna do is make them upset, make them not wanna hire you. Um, being a travel, this is not the type of industry where persistence is a good thing. I've learned this myself. I burned a couple bridges myself just for being too persistent. You know, any other place in life is going to make you a better person, but persistence in this business is not good. You ask once, you get denied, don't ask again. So just fair warning, obviously a lot of people aren't going to read that part and they're still going to ask staffers two months in advance. This is not a video that's going to fix anything. Um, and also these videos are also made for... Uh, people that want to make fun of me, people